Not long ago, platform sharing was practically synonymous with old-fashioned badge engineering, that dark period when the only engineering effort automakers put into distinguishing their identical models went to the formulation of the adhesive required to hold on their brand insignia. These days, platforms are all about shades of grey. Automakers encourage us to think in terms of the sort of scalable architecture that allows cars of radically different shapes and sizes to be spun from the same basic component set. Which is why, even though the Audi Q7 is closely related to the Bentley Bentga in many ways, it remains very different in others. V8 TDI Yet the new Audi SQ7 has been allowed to cherry-pick many of the Bentley's cleverest components, including its active anti-roll system, combining them with the triple-boosted V8 diesel engine that manages to match the monstrous peak to work of the Bentley's gasoline-powered W12. In Europe, where the SQ7 is just going on sale, it's a little more than half the price of the Bentley which has not to love. Power comes from what might well be the most advanced compression ignition engine ever fitted to a road legal car. This 4.0-litre V8 has two turbochargers that operate sequentially, the second adding boost above the 2,200 revolutions per minute. The turbines are fed by a novel split exhaust system that uses Audi SAVS valve lift system, a first for a diesel engine. Each variable geometry turbo is fed by one of the exhaust valves of each cylinder, to bring the second on stream, a sleeve moves on the camshaft to activate that valve. Clever, but not clever enough for Audi, as the SQ7 also marks the first appearance of the company S48 volt electrically powered supercharger. This utilizes a 9 horsepower motor that sits downstream of the intercooler as close to the engine as possible to spin its compressor wheel up to 70,000 revolutions per minute in less than a quarter of a second, filling in the lag-inducing gap as the turbochargers gather momentum at low revs. As a result, the practically Nepalese toward peak of 664 pounds to foot is available from just 1,000 revolutions per minute through 3,250 revolutions per minute. That figure also corresponds to the rate of limit of the standard 8-speed automatic transmission, which is why it is identical to the Bent Gas, and we retold that, unfettered, the diesel V8 could generate much more. Audi has built a Torqueer Q7 before, the first generation, Europe-only Q7 V12 TDI had a tugboat rivaling 738 pounds to foot delivered at higher engine speeds. The SQ7S visual changes compared with the standard Q7 are relatively minor and follow the playbook Audi uses to create its S derivatives. Most of the metal look exterior trim is now finished in aluminum effect rather than chrome, and there are silver caps for the door mirrors, fractionally bigger lower air intakes at the front, and special wheels, 20 inches are standard, but our test car rode on optional 21s, and for those who simply must, there are also 22s. Sound off! The first thing you notice about the SQ7S engine isn't the door. That comes later. No, initial impressions on startup are that it sounds pretty much like an old-fashioned, big cube gasoline V8. Although the sound is electronically enhanced, opening a window confirms that the soundtrack is similarly muscular outside, and the imitation holds true at higher engine speeds. The SQ7 never delivers any of the tinkling harmonics or induction rush you might expect to hear from such a heavily boosted diesel nor does it perform like one. The V8S huge everywhere to work is indeed impressive, and even at the lowest engine RPM, there is no discernible hesitation to accelerator inputs beyond the fractional pause introduced by the toward converter. The more abiding takeaway from our first drive is the engine's enthusiasm to rev. Left to its own devices with a transmission in drive, the engine will shift up at around 4,500 revolutions per minute, which equates to subjective acceleration forces that feel every bit as substantial as those suggested by our estimated 4.7 second 0 to 60 mile per hour time. But tipping the transmission into sport mode or taking control of gear changes manually proves the SQ7 will pull happily, without any top end hesitation, all the way to its 5100 revolution per minute cutoff. Yes, 
The W12 powered Benga is faster overall, but the Audi gives away little if anything in real world pace. The rest of the experience builds on that of the standard Q7. A height adjustable air suspension and switchable dampers are standard, with European buyers also able to add a sport differential that can vector to work across the rear axle, a rear wheel steering system, and nab directly from the Benga an electromechanical anti-roll system. This works to counteract body roll with 48 volt electric motors effectively tightening the front and rear anti-roll bars to counteract cornering forces. Our test car was fitted with all three systems, with the adaptive anti-roll setup working as build and keeping the big Audi almost flat even under high chassis loads. The overall result is an impressively rapid and agile SUV, but the SQ7 is no sports car. It feels tall and heavy in slower turns, where even the battery of dynamic systems can T-stop the eventual onset of understeer. Grip levels are huge, but handling for Ness is slightly less so. The ride is also markedly firmer than that of the standard Q7, even with the Drive Select controller in its most compliant comfort setting, although the SQ7 felt impressively stable during a brief run at high speed. In a world where buyers want fast, luxurious SUVs, the SQ7 is pretty much exactly what customers are demanding. The fact that it happens to run on diesel should be an incidental detail, it has quicker and better mannered than almost all of the gasoline-powered alternatives. Of course, in the US, VWS emissions scandal has made the SQ7S diesel engine an issue. Although it has been designed to meet all existing US emission standards, we retold that no decision on whether to bring it stateside has yet been made. Audi of America remains optimistic that the case will be successfully made. Here as to that, as to that.